Hey, it's AAA. Welcome back to Tiny Rogues. Uh, I realized I've not won with the Depraved against Megadeth. Let's try that. Also, because I kind of want to reset my doppelganger. I wish I could see which doppels I've done. I think I've done Doppelwanderer before as a win, but I'm not for sure. Because I don't think the achievement tells me. I just have to win with 10 doubles. I like this, but I can't guarantee we'll keep a shield. Because this is a temp shield, it breaks. Why did I not take the key? I don't know. I'm also not used to being so slow. Ah, there's my shield broken. There we go. I'm honestly up for whatever weapon they give me. I'm not going to be picky as the Deprived. I stand by the fact that I think Deprived is the hardest hero character in this game, like, for sure. I don't think there's any contest. Is the Deprived fun? Absolutely. It's an interesting challenge. But that's the thing. It's a challenge still. Because equipment is super useful. And yes, that's why I'm going to try Broken Hero Sword. Because I would love to see the kind of meltage that can occur. There we go. Got the mithril. I gotta remember, with Broken Hero Sword, I gotta prioritize money. Much more so than I normally do. That was a terrible hit. I'm ashamed, actually. I'm already revived. Oh my god. Why am I so bad at Tiny Rogues? <laughs> what happened to me? I like Blunt Trauma, but I'm not gonna... I'm trying to make this into a sword run. Getting health is important on Deprived. Alright, give me an uncommon weapon. I'll take the power shard, thank you. Machine gun. Falchion, I love the falchion. One of the more fun melee weapons in this game, in my opinion. One of the more fun, like lower quality ones. It's a great pull. Proximity defense, which means I gotta get close. I'll take a reroll for sure. I think the dog is back upstairs hitting against my door. I think is why my door keeps creaking. Because the house doesn't resettle that much. It's an old house, but it's not that old of a house. That the door should be going kathunk kathunk like every 20 minutes. Can I take offhand? Yeah, I can. Hey there. Oof. I did let myself take a hit there. Poor decision. That yeah, that's useless for me. I have <laughs> I have no spirit heart. I have no soul hearts. I just get a text message. Okay, I did. It's not a respond to right now text message, but it's a good to see, good to know text message. Also, I did tell Ru Ruby about the idea that uh, the carrots should take extra damage against blades because they are vegetables that you cut up. He said he'd think about it. <laughs> Risking it for the biscuit for more money. I 
I'll take a strength. We need another perk. Also, I've not healed a heart yet, even though I definitely took damage. That's going to keep us alive. There we go. Are you better? You might be. Which is a rarity, actually. For the broken hero for the hero sword to be better than whatever weapon I've got on a run. It's got a nice wide stroke with its attack pattern. Um, give me a shrine. Because I could use a speed upgrade, even a temporary one. Oh, that was bad. Good news is if I don't die in this Oh, I got I got revives. I'm fine. There we go. And I healed from my thing. More damage is great. Not what I wanted, but it's fine. I'm not going to argue with a 25% damage increase for 10 rooms or whatever it is. Accessories are fine. Accessories are fine. I should, I'll, t I'll take a random melee weapon, why not? Because if we can get something better than this temporarily... We'd be more likely to survive to get to use the broken hero sword. That was a really good Mandrake fight. Double axe, huh? I'll be honest, I have never seen nor used this. Let's find out. Laser is annoying, but... It's got more range. That is all it has going for it. But honestly, not awful. Just not good, either. Very C-tier weapon. If I were to be ranking it. And that is probably the last time I'll use a double axe. Definitely the last time on this run I'll be using it. I can guarantee you that. Uh, can't have armor, correct? Yes, can't and don't have armor. Thank you. Tavern? Don't think it's worth. Thank you. We will take a warrior stash. Really don't want armor from this. Or boots. Dang. And that's an amazing helmet, too. Like, that's a really good helmet. I just can't take it. I don't have enough gold for you. Thanks. More gold. Thank you. Ooh, I got cursed. Yikes, I got cursed twice. Bro, chill.
I got double curse in this fight. What what curses did I take? Minus bombs, minus damage to bosses. Gee, that's bad. <laughs> Oh, I don't have a key for the rare weapon. Lovely. Um, I will check this. Also, secret room. Hello. Ow. There are several things in here that would be worth getting. Three power shards. I don't know about that one, chief. Increase attack speed. Good, but I can't take it. But I can take these. What you got for me, game? Recover a stam on hit? Or 25% more damage? I'm gonna... I need something amazing. That's funny. It also means that if I'm using a strength weapon, I can technically afford to wear armor, as counterintuitive as that is. What's the damage difference for me right now? 375. I deal more damage wearing armor. Kind of against the nature of the character, but am I going to say no to what is objectively better? No, I'm not. Not when it's also convenient. <laughs> When it's objectively better and convenient, I'll do it. There we go. Defy death. Let's check out the shop. That was a hard decision to make. Because, you know, we obviously benefit greatly from having money, so we can upgrade our broken hero sword all the way up. There's Ice Flex. And we're gonna go for it. You will take the Ice Flex. I forgot to sell my club. Ah, death by death. We gotta be really careful. Because I don't know how many death defies I've got left. If any. Maybe I should have kept double axe for its range. Ooh, that was close. We now need a way to try and get that upgrade. I'm doing this because these can drop, uh, what you call them? Uh, the shards. Not the shards, the whetstones. Also, I don't know why my voice is all the way down here. I've talked about this a few times. I'll talk about it again, though. Uh, one of my most, uh, gender dysphoric things is the fact my voice will completely shift at random because I had a injury to my windpipe as a teenager that cracked it. And, uh, yeah, that's a thing now. It didn't quite heal right, uh, and it causes me random voice shifts. I have no control over it. I can't make it happen. I, like, I can, obviously, I can change my voice a little bit. Uh, that's really good, but 25% attack speed is so much better, but I'll grab you anyways. 
yeah, I don't like having my voice all the way down here. But, uh, when my windpipe decides to do it, it do it, and I can't stop it. I can manually make my voice higher, but it's uncomfortable, requires effort, a lot of, a lot of reasons not to do it. Uh, this is a hard choice, but I think one heart is better than what will be in that event for me. Most likely. Because one heart also gives me 5% more damage across the board. Yeah, this is uh, part of why it's so hard for me to pass non-binary as well as I sound like this. Sometimes, and they're like, no, you can't be. I'm like, yeah, I can be. Um, hello. I've not seen you before, but you are a gorgeous weapon. And I can afford to buy both of you. I really want to try this. Um, buy that. Reroll. So I pick this up. Equip this. Oh, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I can't afford that either. I should have thought about that more, but that's okay. I'll stick with this. Hello. Why is this amazing? Wait. Wait, this is great? <laughs> Hold on. Thank you. Um, damage check. What's the damage difference for me right now, with or without? It's sizable. Alright. Um, give me a random accessory. Wow. I like this weapon. How have I, I... This is another one I've not seen before. Like, it's not incredible, but it's good. That's a huge attack arc. Good range. Good attack speed. It does help we have 25% extra attack speed. That makes every weapon feel a bit better, but... I'm going to have to keep this weapon in mind. When I'm thinking about best non-magical melee weapons. This is taking a long time, not gonna lie. Ow. That's a Death Defy. We really need the, uh, gain damage on Death Defy one. For sure. It synergizes so well. And IMO is just a great perk to have, regardless of the situation. If you have your meta progress on, which, like... Since the game is already as hard as it is, I don't turn it off anymore unless I'm doing the pyramid because that specifically says to turn it off. You can tell the game was intended to have it. And I think that's fine. Okay, unsolved Rubik's Cube. Oh, okay, that's the one that gives me luck, isn't it? Yeah, on, on solve, it'll give me a luck while holding it. I was looking at the wrong health bar. I was looking at the robot's health bar for the pylon. Obviously, I know it's in the wrong place. I don't know why I thought that. I'm, just, I'm silly. 
the silly bean. Ow. Ow. I don't want to die here. I gotta be careful. Uh, that's my last death defy, I'm certain. I refuse to die to a pylon. Oh. Oh. Alright, so we get tuned. <clears throat> we tuned to the Rubik's Cube. Oh, there we go. My voice. Freedom. Freedom. Alright, uh, give me Dex. Ow. Frick you. What you got for me, perks? Give me a stem on hit. This run almost benefits from taking damage, so, uh... The evade is tempting, I will pass. I'll check this. Comet scroll, lance, bazooka. Reroll me. Demon blade, knob twiddler, manticore. I am contractually obligated to try. Because this is a silly little weapon, and I enjoy it. What what did I get cursed with? Less gold. Great. Got plus one luck, though. What's the damage difference here? Huge. I need money, so let's try and win big. Also, you can get whetstones from this. Actually, no, we don't need money. We need a whetstone. That's literally what we need is a whetstone. We get a whetstone, we got the hero sword. Nah. Um... Perfect Rubik's Cube attuned. Oh, it wasn't attuned. So I didn't have the extra luck going into the gambling. Thank you. I just realized, if you get two minus one bomb curses, does that make it impossible for you to get bombs? Like, do bomb rooms just not give you bombs anymore? in that instance because they give you two normally the curse takes you down to one if you manage to get the curse twice do you just not get bombs anymore food for thought Please die. Thank God. Um, give me Ambrosia. Possess weapon, this one's not too bad. I thought I dodged that nimbly. I did not. Oh, frick you, by the way. Why are you doing this in phase one? This is your fate. This is a phase two attack, sir. I thought it was supposed to be a phase 2 attack. Did that just take so long to kill him that he did a phase 2 attack? Or maybe because part of the harder bosses is that they can do that. I don't know. I've not really investigated a ton into the, the exact nuances of every cinder. I mean, if anyone were to do it, it should be someone like me, but...
Also, since setting Cinder 6, I don't think I've once I've set the game Cinder to 6. Which is embarrassing. Now that I say it out loud. Yeah, I've not once since setting it to Cinder 6. Maybe Cinder 6 isn't the perfect Cinder for me. I'll do some evaluation and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. It's that man in black and green Sometimes sweet and saccharine Sometimes he bees as mad as me Insanity Persistently 